Welcome to the Covenant Church Podcast. I'm Allison Bramlett, and I am here today with my dad, Pastor Gregory Pope. Hello. And actually one of my greatest faith families and dear brother in the Lord, Yoath, who I had the greatest honor of spending 10 days in Israel with um, about a year and a half, two years ago. And my dad went in, in 20 2015 in February with uh, actually good friends, Ricardo and Jeanette Sanchez invited us. That's where we met you all. And Josh Ahrens was there with both of us, taking us and leading us. But Yoath actually showed us where Jesus walked, and we got to experience the Bible in living color. It's like the Bible um, was in black and white, and it turned into color pages for me, and I got to experience that. I've always loved Israel and um, felt like I'd went home and made family members, and in those moments, it was wonderful, but I also got to learn the truth of what was really happening over there, what's going on with the people, what's happening between Arab Israelis, what's happening between Jews, how there's a beautiful thing where there's a beautiful culture that's going on and then how really media and I believe um, the educational systems in Europe and America, I actually believe are spreading lies and are putting not honest answers. You're hearing things that aren't true on media. And I think today we can expose some of those things so that you can know the truth where you can stand with Israel and understand that it's good versus evil and that your voice matters and that we want to give you facts that will help you be able to share that truth and love to those around you. So, Yoav, I just want you to share what's going on. Yeah, thank you for having me over here. Thank you everyone for uh, support. Um, basically, Israel is under a war for over uh, three weeks um but um to be honest this war was was basically happening almost every day since yeah. i remember right. myself um these terrorists that um invade into israel we're talking about close to three thousand. yeah on saturday the 7th um um this heavy massacre they did and butchered kids and and raped women and and kidnapped babies and 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 men and women and into gaza into and the elderly tunnels. and elderly holocaust survivors yeah and finally the world that was kind of numbing um maybe even slipping um exposed to what we have been sharing for many years you know mm -hmm. that that these people over there developing a bomb a monster of hatred yeah um, that by by educating the kids to literally hate the Jews. Yeah. And I specifically say the Jews because a lot of people s say, and the Palestinian agenda always is kind of like, no, we're okay with the Jews and the Zionist movement of the modern state of Israel. Mm -hmm. And um, this is disconnecting from the Jews and Israel from its history is the big crime. Yes, yeah. because yes. this is this is our land and this is a place that we have, you know, from from Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and yeah. Moses uh, seeing it from the distance. Joshua bring the people of Israel back in, and we have our roots over there. You know, when we read the Bible in Israel, yeah. we don't only read the holy book; it's our heritage book. Yeah. That's right. It's our. It's your book. family. Yes. It's your family yes. tree. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So doubting that is is a huge problem. Yeah. It's a huge problem, and um, what happened? Uh, I think was a it was a real earthquake but very strong one mm -hmm. and that shaken the world that finally and this is maybe why i'm my one of the main reasons i'm here mm -hmm. and i shared it yesterday yeah that i said the front is might look like gaza border and lebanon with hezbollah and iran and 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 basically we see a lot of support from russia on that that's mm -hmm. very very dangerous um maybe you think this is the front but basically the front is over here as well here right. in america yeah. yes i agree because, you know, what stopped Israel um, in former uh, rounds in Gaza and some wars was always the world opinion. Our allies that we need their support, if it's the United States of America, mm -hmm. Europe, the ones that actually prevented sanctions over Israel. Israel is a small country, yeah. small country, the size of New Jersey. It's and and uh, You can walk across it in a day. And yes. if you're fast, you can be there <laughs> much quicker. <laughs> Less than two hours in yeah. the car. And... Um, and um, uh, but cross it from north to south is longer, by the yeah. way. And so basically, this was always stopping us because the West was afraid of his own people, mm -hmm. you know, not re-electing if it's the president or a prime minister That's in right. Europe or over here. And and we need everyone that's watching right now yes. and you guys and all of your communities to speak up. 
And I realized that, and we all, I think we all realize that, that the information that people, people don't get the information. No, they don't. And I'll share one thing, one thing to emphasize um, what you hear in the news, for example, that Israel massacring innocent people in Gaza. And that's, and, and I think one of the waking up is to the world is that we are going to have to achieve peace. We're going to have to do brutal things. And we're already doing it. And and we grew up in this reality that brutal things are not for us. You know, it's it's no, 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 no. Don't hurt people that are not supposed but not supposed to you're not supposed to hurt women, babies. But listen to this following story. I just sent it to you. Um, we have one of these thousands um um militia members, terrorists of yeah. Hamas mm -hmm. came into one of the communities, Jewish communities, he killed 10 Jews. Mm -hmm. and took the phone of one of the ladies and called his parents in Gaza, two and a half miles away from him. And he's calling them crying from excitement. Dad, mom, yeah. I just killed 10 Jews. Yeah. Your son just killed 10 Jews. Yeah. And, and there's a long conversation over there and the parents are praising him and telling him, thank Allah. And, 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 like, and then when I saw that, it's recorded by a secret service. Yeah, I thought, I've it. heard it. We have it's it translated real. to English. Yeah. Unbelievable. And you ask yourself, who is the terrorist over here? Who who do we need to eliminate to prevent it? These parents who has this massive weapon of education. Well, and it's really, it's a, we have to change the ideology. There's a, there's been a, it's yes. like we talked about the, the cartoons, the, 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 Mickey, Mouse, the yes. Mickey Mouses, the things that people are being taught. And you even have, there are great, um, Arab Israelis and Muslims that are speaking out saying this is not what you need exactly, to know. Like, exactly. Like, uh, what's his name? Yosef Haddad. Yosef Haddad is an Israeli Arab Muslim who yeah. lives in Nazareth. Uh, he, he joined, volunteered to the Israeli army because they are not recruited. Mm -hmm. And he fought in the, in the Second Lebanon War, lost his, uh, you know, got injured. Mm -hmm. And he speaks for Israel very, very strong. I really recommend to follow him. I can tell you that, you know, from my reality, you know, I live next to two or three actually Arab communities and I do my groceries over there. I go to do my, you know, my barber is, is there. I do my, my, you know, everything. They're your is, children's teachers? Yes. The, 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 my, my daughter goes to the daycare. There's two of the, the, the educators are yeah. Arabs um, and I trust them. Yeah. yeah. So it can be better. And, and you're, you're right. Maybe you're leading us to the solution, but, but first of all, we need to understand the problem. The solution is is to replace the ideology. The, but the, that doesn't happen without the fight. But you have to stop have to, the terror. Exactly, and yes. to stop the terror, the people of Gaza today are hostages of of a, of a very very strong militia I agree. with weapon, and many of them have been brainwashed that they cannot even see that they are hostages. You're right. And this is the parents I told yeah. you. You know, I I didn't mean to say that we have to get kill them all. No, but you're but what you're saying though is. There's a fight, and if someone was breaking into my home with my grandchildren and my children, I'll just be honest. I, I, I would, would fight. Defend. I would defend. And what I love is the, the Israeli Defense Force. And you guys are in a war that you are didn't start. You're right. And but it's but it is a war that you're going to have not, to finish. You're right, completely right. It's not only your house. No. It's the base where the attack not just happened and came back. It's they want to keep. They keep an, 10,000 rockets, you know, today is what, uh, thir October 30th? Mm -hmm. From the 7th. In three weeks. In three weeks, 10,000 rockets. We just had a rocket falling next to where my family is, and yeah. they heard the explosion. It's it's so dangerous. It's only godly protection and Iron Dome, and yes. that the rockets are not hitting, hitting houses. That's right. Sometimes they do hit houses, and the thank God, thank God we have people educated to know what they need to do to go to a safe room to protect themselves. It's like you said, you know, I want you to say, you know, we're talking, but I, I love you and I love your wife and your two beautiful children. I love some friends that are in war there that I know are fighting now in Gaza that I know that I'm praying that bullets are whizzing by them and not touching them, that they are hid under the shelter, Psalms 91, and that God's protection is on them because they are men and women. But I know that when they go in, they want to free children and women, and they really want the men to know that what they're fighting for is not truth. I mean, that that is there, but it is a fight, and they, they're going to go in. But, you know, when you go in these areas, the women and children there are not free women and children. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not. 
it's a different mindset that people are not seeing. And one thing, Israel is a free state for women, for You're children. Right. You're right. It's a democracy. Yeah. It is not the same mm. thing. And so you're fighting them. Um, there's so many different levels. For them. We for, fight them. for them. You're fighting That's for right. them too, in a sense, whether they know it or not. And, you know, I know before they go into Gaza or any place, they're like, we're coming in. You need to move out. Yeah. But the terrorists use the civilians as shields Right. for themselves and i that to me if that's not saying hey we don't care about our people yeah we we don't give our people the money that they have been given which you and i both know <laughs> that um the money that those countries have been given over the years for their refugees and Billions. all could have been made into dubai's or different places but they were made into rockets and they were made into a military or a militia as we speak as yeah. we speak there are people that are complaining that israel cut their you know, first of all, yes. Israel supplied the power and water for yes. its own enemies. That's crazy. Insane. That's amazing. Yeah. But let's say, okay. And they, they did hospitalization and doctored them. I do know this for a fact, just to let you know. It's we, crazy. We, we cut cool. it, okay? We they, Let's say, but, and they complained that they don't have any more water and power and, and supplies and everything. But how come there's one thing that they keep on having? Rockets. Missiles and rockets towards rockets. Israel. It's it never... So where is the money? What did you do with your money instead of having water supplies? You know that they took out pipe systems that they found in the ground that Israel had communities. Israel withdraw from Gaza. There's no Israeli mm -hmm. community in Gaza uh -huh. in 2005. And the, this was advanced water system to give water for houses that they could build. Yes. They took out these expensive pipes yeah. and they turned them into rockets. Yeah. And this is unbelievable reality. And instead of helping their own people, Yes. To survive. Now, what is happening right now in Gaza is this brutality that we have. Look, we can't just go knock on the door, please leave. They're not leaving. And you, you said also, I, I will tell you a story. Israel, the Israeli IDF, to be able to work as an army in a civilian area, you have to evacuate the civilians because the terrorists are hiding in the schools. Mm -hmm. They launch the rockets from mosques. This is why you see mosques that have been bombarded by the Israeli army. Hospitals are used to host the terrorist headquarters, underground, inside rooms, and you cannot bomb a hospital. So you tell, even the hospitals are, are needed to be evacuated. And what happened, we have videos of that. The, the, the people get into their car, drive south to the, part, mm -hmm. the southern part of Gaza to, to where the IDF tell them to go. So they won't be involved in the war. And you see side bombs by Hamas explodes on the road oh. so they won't go they want them to stay oh. yeah. they want them to stay to to make it harder to make a so shield the, exactly these people don't care about the life of their people mm -hmm. and that's very very uh, absolutely um a fact now and you know when we were there i had the honor to hear that from some people that you know were sharing that from the other side saying you know it's dangerous here there, there's there's not a voice it's hard to have a voice you know, there were other pastors, Palestinian pastors and stuff that, you know, they get beat up because they're saying what you're seeing is not the truth. They've been shot. Their families have been shot they're, because they're saying the Bible's true. This land belongs to Israel. This this land is promised to the sons of Abraham and Isaac. This is the this is the sons of Abraham. This is, you know, it's, you know, it's the Jewish nation. It's, it's so important. And, and, you know, a lot of people saying today, there as a reaction to what I say, say, no, you took their land. And, and I think people don't know the history well to yes. answer that. And I think I don't have the whole time right now, but just I'll say a statement that that these Arabs, the local Arabs who lived under the British mandate in the land of Israel, that they called it the British mandate over Palestine, mm -hmm. these Arabs were not welcomed by any Arab country. That's right. When they established these countries in the 40s if it's Jordan and, and Syria and Lebanon and Egypt. Mm -hmm. And and uh, they never missed a chance to get independent when Israel offered it to them with the peace process and all of that. They always wanted something that we couldn't give because it was giving our life. Yes. And when you hear people and when you hear statements and you see posters saying from the sea to the, uh, to the river, it means that I won't be there. That's right. I'll be dead. That's, That's right. right. That's what they mean. They want to kill me. Mm -hmm. So whoever support that without knowing what it means, That's right. like you think you're supporting miserable people, you think you are encouraging elimination of the Jewish people in That's the land. Correct. Yeah. And these people, 
these people could have, I'm telling you, could have had a state, could, uh, everything, but they always proved that what they want is to eliminate us. That's, that's and the whole this purpose. is something we cannot let happen. No. We fight for our life. Yes. So if you support, if you support the Palestinians, that's what true. you need to do is to bring this new ideology that will help them to live good life next to us and not try to eliminate us. So, so I could ask you, who was the first Palestinian president? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> they do have a, a kind of a president of the Palestinian Authority, but yeah. it was never a state. Never. There was never. Never. Obviously, we recognize there are Palestinian people today. Sure. We all recognize. But if you come with historical statements, you need to study the history. You need right. to understand who are these people, when they were created. And by by the way, their, their uh, uh, desire for the land and for nationality grew up as much uh, more and more along with the Jewish um, building of the state of Israel. Yes. That's right. And that's something that gave them strong and, and, right. and actually created their ideology. And I, um, they became unique in the Arab mm -hmm. world because they kind of like uh, um, demand some, something that will, again, eliminate Israel. The Arab world has to help, has to help. And, and this is part of the war. You know, we have to to help the Palestinians to help themselves. Their leaders always led them to catastrophes. Well, you know, one thing that I saw when I was there is you would go and you would walk, go into certain neighborhoods and you would see where you would think that they would have been given stuff to make those neighborhoods better. But you could tell that nothing had been done with the money there. Like that there would be like these signs. I'm just being that you would think that money had been sent to, to do things, yes. but it really there was nothing done. Am I saying this correctly? Unbelievable. There's so much money that the world has been given to the Palestinians that, that, as you said at the beginning, Gaza could have been yeah. one, wow. Dubai or whatever. Could, and it's not just a statement. We have the numbers. You can see the numbers, That's but right. it went to tunnels to hide from the army. It went to missiles to shoot at us. It went to uh, even fuel they mm. keep. Mm -hmm. to keep on activating their power to shoot the rockets and not giving it to the hospitals. That's crazy. And the other thing that was amazing to me is when I was in Israel is I would see so many Palestinian um, or Arab workers coming in from different areas into Israel and then going back home at mm -hmm. night. But you didn't see Jewish people crossing over and doing that. But you would see that they were welcome in. They and it was a beautiful thing. And so I saw a hand of... I saw an extension, a hand open of peace, a hand of peace open. And one thing that right. I love is I know that there is still a hand of, there is a hand open to say what you've been taught is not the truth because our hand of peace is for you to have freedom, for you to have your own peace, but to have peace with us so we can have peace with but, you. But because unfortunately with Gaza, we don't, we, we can't use the flower anymore. No, we I will agree. Have, we will have to use power, unfortunately. To, to get rid of this evil because this evil brought us the biggest catastrophe since that's the Holocaust. Right. So as we... As that's we, what's been proven. Well, and I think today so many people, you know, I would say study the Holocaust. So many people, they say, I don't understand. The Holocaust really happened. It's a real thing. Your grandfather survived the Holocaust. It's an amazing story. I know we don't have time for that. Maybe we will the next time you're here for you to share your grandfather's story. But this is a modern day... I understand it seems like a smaller scale, but it's the beginning of an ideology. I want to share this with you. I don't believe in getting rid of any Palestinians either. What I do believe, though, is eradicating a terrorism mindset that says that someone else doesn't have a right to live, doesn't have a right to anything, and that they that we want to that we celebrate destroying someone's lives, that we celebrate beheading babies, that we celebrate raping women, that we celebrate. So when there's something like that, that's good against evil. And so there's something that there's a difference in what we're talking about today. That's right. And I think that's what it's really good. It's a good mind a mindset against evil. And it says in the word of God that there would come a time that men would call evil good and good evil. And I believe we're living in those days. And I would tell you to go to the word of God and you have to read the word and you have to be able to speak truth in love. So that truth is where people need to know when you're hearing those things, they need to know what's really done. Study your history, study the history, uh, go to the Bible and understand that this land was given to the sons of Israel. 
You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, is that, you true, know, that's true. what and, the word and, says. And it's open peacefully for everyone yes. to live there, but peacefully. 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 And, and again, you're, I think uh, I'm sorry. what you just said, Alison, is, is, is amazing. Go study. I think, and I want to I wanna welcome people. First of all, obviously, they have your contacts. Ask the right people yeah. to give you the sources to study. And here in your church, you have all the sources I know. So I, I really think that people should contact you and, 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 and get the right information. Because the media, which is cheap and easy, is, is not enough information. It's usually not good. That's right. And and not and not giving you what you need to get. That's right. Sometimes you have good reporters, but that's very, very hard to find. But what you need to go is to go study. So you can stand for the truth and you can spread the truth among others. Yes. That's super important. Because this battle is a long battle. This war, maybe if it will end and they will stop shooting rockets and we will it's not over. Because there are many enemies over there. And we need to unite the people of God together. And we need to unite the people under the truth to be able yes, to fight it. I agree. And again, every person matters. And if there are innocent people that don't know what they're talking about, we need to reach them You're right. and share with them the truth. We do. And so today, I believe that I feel a mandate personally that mm -hmm. this is a time for us to um, stand up because it says in the Word of God that my people perish for lack of knowledge. And that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to perish in this because of lack of knowledge. So there's an availability to get the right and the knowledge of the Word of God so that you have the truth on it. So you can get the Word. We actually have um, the, the yeah, you say the guy's name, the Arab. Um, Yusuf. Yes, I've, I mess up names so bad. The Y's and J's and jo all. Joseph. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I start messing them up. But we can. But there are many, many to follow, and, yes. and I'll send you more. Um, and this is actually, again, these are the voices, the true voices from 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 the current events. I think also, as we said, the uh, the um, the sources of the history. You know, when someone talks for a minute on on Instagram, he doesn't share the yeah. whole history. He shares yeah. the moment. You know, and this is what I'm trying to do here to bring the voice from Israel. What's mm -hmm. happening now? This, you know, no reporter is reporting the 10,000 missiles. The, no, the, no funeral, heard, no. the funeral in Jerusalem, oh. I just showed you. That, yes, amazing. You know, they're coming to bury our beloved one, a soldier, and there's a siren, a rocket is above them, and they're all laying on the ground between the, their graves yeah. to protect themselves. Yeah. Thank God we have the Iron Dome to, mm -hmm. to intercept the rocket. No one talks about, uh, about these little things that are all connected to life. And building our reality and, and, and designing our desire to get rid of it, of this evil. Well, here's the thing, you know, we're talking here in this wonderful moment on a podcast, all comfortable, everyone listening, probably to the sound of our voice, maybe drinking your Starbucks, sitting with your kids. You maybe even got your Netflix on in the background and, you know, you might be in your very nice car. You might be in your Tesla, or your Suburbans or whatever you're driving. And I'm thankful for that. But right now, somewhere in Israel, someone has 10 to 90 seconds to get their children into a safe place if they have one. Yeah. 10,000 rockets is, in is the last three weeks. Yes. I, don't, I don't know what that would figure. I don't have time to figure it up. But th that's pretty often something in the air. Yes. You know, minute-wise. Yes. yes. That's a, true. 10, 000, that's true. a lot in and, the air. And, and something amazing people don't know about 550. I mean, I think it's growing number. Uh, were uh, actually fell in the Gaza Strip. Yes. So uh, many of these rockets, Israel tried to be very accurate with the ammunition yeah. we send into into a civilian population. Many of these rockets probably killed Palestinians, uh, innocent people. Okay, so I want to I want to go back to a personal time. I want to go away from this moment now because you were in the military for many years in Israel. You were part of the IDF for how yes. many years? Three and then reserve for more uh, after until, okay. until four or five years ago. And one thing that I do know is that when you guys went into homes, you try to protect all the civilians. Like I know always, this always. and I know this from talking to other IDF yes. soldiers every time that I've been there. I would like for that to be shared because I don't think that that's being shared even now today with what you're seeing on the news. I'm not telling you that people are not getting hurt, but I know for a fact that the IDF is very, very careful we, to get civilians out. I just want to say that had, you work very hard still today. We we have soldiers getting killed because we're, instead of knocking down a building that we are more than 100% sure there is guns and, and terrorists inside, we go and try to get everyone out and catch only the terrorists. I have plenty of stories right now yes. to share. You know, even one time, 
a, a young girl with a bum that we came to uh, mm. take out of from her home mm-hmm. and, and 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 you know and we saved by the way the home by without exploding the bum inside the home the the engineering team took the bum out of the fields we found her the mother of this of this uh, girl after we took her um, was chasing after us with big rocks now you know um, rocks can kill yeah and if someone throws something at you that can kill you you shoot him you know what did we do just to protect her we ran away yeah we ran away because we had our our terrorist with us our daughter which was 17 years old she had a bomb under a bed planning to go into Israel to explore the bus it was in the beginning of 2000s mm-hmm. and we had to to do our mission our mission was her daughter although again I'm asking the question what about the mm-hmm. environment of this terrorist yeah what was she taught yeah and and that's something that you know the, the, these producers of the Mickey Mouse show that we talked and I th- I'll send you some and we can share with people uh, in Gaza kids are taught that they need to kill Jews by by a cartoon that's right, right. Mm-hmm. and and that's and that's something that so it's from birth this is like this is this is a brainwashing yes and it's just not about Israel and it's not just about the land it's particular like you need to kill a Jew mm-hmm. that's what's amazing it's not me. it's not just a it's, Jew there it's a Jew anywhere when you hear you need to kill a Jew you understand that it's something mm-hmm. bigger yeah. Yes. yeah yeah and so that's why today I think we need a we need to really um, be aware that I really believe it is the it's an antichrist spirit it's a spirit against God mm-hmm. because and I believe that that's what we're standing against today and so this is when you have to stand mm-hmm. with Israel this is what the Word of God says and um, it says pray for the peace of Jerusalem for those that pray for Jerusalem shall prosper yes and that means prosper that doesn't we're not talking cash we're talking every way of life, prosperity in every way of your life, the shalom of God, that that peace of God will come over you. And that's and that's what that's what Israel's after. That's what the whole nation's after. That's what the the Christian world is after. That's why we work together. So is because, you know, yeah. the, you know, the, the God of peace, the, that's who you know, Jesus came to bring us peace and love and joy. And, and so our deal is this. We as Christians have joined. We're, we're 100 percent. With, the, with, with Israel and the Jewish nation, because you know what? That's who we are. We're, we're the ones that's grafted in. We, without the Jewish nation, we wouldn't even have a Christian life. That's right. You know, so the that's, first church is here. <laughs> that's right. And you know, speaking as we close, because I know um, everyone's got, you has got to go, we've got to go, and you probably have to go, but um, he will be back to be with us. I just want to say, I love the story of Esther. And in the scripture of Esther, it said, For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, and you and your father's house will perish. I want you to know God's faithful to the Jews, whether you're with them or not. That's true. But it's, it matters to your family if you stand with Israel. I believe that. I, I believe that's what the Word Thank of God you. says. I believe, it ma- man, I believe it matters for my generations that I stand with you. Thank you. And who knows whether you (laughs) have not attained royalty for such a time as this. I believe that what we have in America is a royal place. And I believe it's for such a time as this. You know, Allison, uh, since you were about five years old, I'll just throw this in as we close. Uh, The Lord has always put in your heart uh, a love for Israel. You wanted a star David before you even knew really what it, a lot of it, what it meant. And you've wore a star David all your life. Just be, uh, because you have a love for Israel, yeah. and it's always been in there, and I, I would like to see it came from your mom and I, because we always loved Israel. Yes, I heard but you, you praying but, for. But, but you took that up in your heart. That's why you get emotional now, because it's such a part of who you are that you care for Israel, and you care that the world knows and that people understand the truth of why do we care for Israel? We and why do we care? we care for the, the terrorists, but we are against terror. That's right. And That's I'm believing, what, you know, I believe Jesus can appear, appear to them and I'm praying for them to be saved. I'm praying for them to be redeemed, but I will tell you this. I will not call evil good no, and sir. I will not call good evil. Me, that is no, who I am. Don't do that. And I want to, as we close today, go off. Um, there will, I, I, I want to say some, one, one yes. thing. First of all, um, people hearing us should, um, you know, try again to study and to get information yes. and to support Israel with prayers, with whatever, the shared award of mm-hmm. the good. Uh, uh, things that happening and 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 how can we you know we need everyone we need the world to support it but also I want to share that I think the this this war will over I I would I would 
you know, encourage people, just buy a ticket to Israel and come. Well, and I, you know I'm coming. I, I know your church More than, is planning a trip. Back. I'm a regular and, and I think people just need to jump and come to, for their own sake of yeah. knowing the Bible better, yeah. uh, getting connected to God better, and, and also mm -hmm. uh, supporting the local economy and supporting Israel. That's... It matters. You know, when Jackie and I landed in Israel, we'd never been, but it was on our bucket list as such. Uh, we looked at each other, and and the moment that we landed and touched down, we looked at each other and said, you know what? We feel like we're at home, and we have never felt as safe in our life. It was like, wow. So that's how it is. And I wanted to just say this, too. One, a neat experience that y'all took us to is we went to a very small community in Israel that touches where Gaza is. And what's crazy is in this community, you know, you think because we live in America, sometimes maybe if you live in the northern part of America, and you can see into Canada, you would understand. But for us around here, you know, we have states that touch each other. That Israel's nations, they touch each other. It's like us being in our next county and your yards touching each other. So there we were in this little community, and we're looking right into Gaza, like mm -hmm. right there into Gaza. And all over the walls are these beautiful mosaics that say, Pathway to Peace. And it's, a, it's like the entrance into heading into Israel that these people would come into if they came to work through that way, saying that this is your pathway to peace, inviting them to come into a peaceful life. I want you to know when you hear anything else, it's a lie, it's a propaganda, That's and right. it's from the enemy. But Israel is saying, let's have a pathway to peace always. 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 Thank you. Y'all, thank, thank you. We bless y'all. If you have questions, um, please contact us. We will give you information on them. Um, how to stay connected. I will recommend that you listen to J Post. That's some Jer Jerusalem news, and they have a little bit more accurate stuff of yes, what's going yes. on. Um, there are some people you can follow on Instagram. Yo, what's your Instagram handle? You have Rotten Tours. I'm, and I, I can actually put that maybe. Um, Austin, who's our media guy, he's over here. He's going to have to tag some stuff. We'll put all his social media on our stuff so that you guys can follow them, um, stay Thank in you. contact. And if you have a question, you can actually personally message him, and um, he can answer your questions way better than we can. And then if you want to go to Israel, even alone, we'd love for you to go with our church. But if you just want a private tour to Israel, he does an amazing job. His wife and family, that he, he'll take you to all the right restaurants, and he'll take you to where Jesus has been to. So anyway, please um, Thank you. stay in prayer, and God bless you for joining us today. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. shalom.